Hi, friends. It's Miss Linda. Um, I just wanted to address one of the things that you're doing this week on your lesson plan. It's called Guess How Many? And you use your Unifix cubes, these guys that you have. Um, parents, you're going to help them with that because we need subitizing, which kind of means can they look at a number of objects and tell you how many is there? Um, so if you show them this, you say, how many do I have? And they can look and they can say three. Or they count them. And if they count them, they go one, two, three, close your hand up and say, so how many do I have? And see if they can repeat the number without having to count again. Um, try it with, you know, one, two, three, up to five and see if they can do that. And if they can, the next thing you can do is kind of fun. I'm gonna show you down here, and you can, maybe the kids can guess while we're doing this. I'm gonna show you the table, and we're going to have, I'm gonna use five. So I'm gonna put those down and I'm gonna say, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So how many are there? Right, there's five. Okay, cover them up. I'm going to try to trick you, okay? Um, how many were there? Five, okay. Now how many are there? Three, which means that there's how many in my hand? Did you guess? Two, we had five all together. There's three down here, two, three, four, five. I had these two in my hand and all together they make five. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Let's go with three. There's our three, okay? There are three objects, let's see. Time to trick. Ready? How many do I have in my hand? There were three. Now how many? Right, there's one in my hand. Two were there and one makes three. Very good. This is kind of fun to play. I like it. I know some of us have done it together and others haven't, but parents, you can really be tricky with your kids and you can play this even higher numbers if the kids can do that. Or stay with lower numbers like three until they get it. I hope you have fun. Bye.